it's so before i came on the show tonight like i I'd had I'd had people mentioning that the latest um last week tonight with john oliver oh uh, was brilliant was quite pertinent um i urge people to go go and, and hunt out that latest episode because he's talking yeah. about the upcoming uk election and he spends yep. a lot of time on what the tories did over there uh for austerity because the books weren't looking too good and 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 what they did was they cut they cut yeah. And they cut and they cut deep. They closed libraries, swimming pools, food banks, health programs. They, as you said, rat fucked the NHS to, to the point of collapse, running into COVID. And I have said it before there are links between the National Party and the Conservative Party that they are reading their homework as a list of good things to do. And that is my fear, and that is what I've seen, is that they're not going to take 14 years to do it. They're going to turbocharge a, a New Zealand flavour of austerity years after the entirety of Europe learned that it was a bad idea. Yeah, that that was it's actually quite shocking. I, I, I actually thought about playing some clips tonight, but it would get us either kicked off YouTube or being demonetised. We, we wouldn't get our 17 cents for this episode, Joey. Mm. Um, but... I may go in tomorrow and take some clips. Here's some things. Ricketts and Scurvy are coming back in, in over there. Kids, five-year-olds today are one centimetre shorter than five-year-olds 10, 15 years ago. This austerity measure has caused such hardship in the UK that people can't eat food uh, as enough quality nutritious food today to keep the average height of people going up children are smaller are literally smaller and i actually looked up chili i've got um a, a website here that does scripting of television shows and there was a a, a story of a of a guy on it called alexander doodle real name and he was a guy i'm not quite sure what he had it could have been a muscular dystrophy or something he he could walk but his feet were obviously not working and he had crutches on either oh. side you know that of, of a guy going down the stairs and every step he takes like oh fuck, yeah. don't fall even when he got to the bottom you can see the cameraman put his hand out to try and help get him down and because it's scripted this is what he said right so this is what alexander said in that in that article it just feels like every area has been infected by cuts the government changed things on some of your prescription stuff ring a bell people so at one point i was having to pay for four or five medications and i'm just not buying them anymore i can't afford it again because of funding cuts there's uh there's this huge waiting list for a wheelchair an electric wheelchair which is a kind of fun is kind of fundamental for disabled people to be able to get around and so then i sold my tv and i had a second hand laptop that i sold and i had a little yard sale at the front just trying to sell items and cutlery and plates and stuff and it was still nowhere near enough and the joke that john oliver makes was this guy is selling his forks to get the money to pay for the medication he needs to stay alive and these fuckers in parliament in new zealand are modeling themselves of those guys my partner and i were watching it upstairs and i and she said to me oh but you know these guys the national party could see this and learn from it i went no 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 love this is their target they're this is what they're aiming for they've been getting uh cheat sheets from the people who gave the cheat sheets to the tory party this is what they want this is not they'll see this and they'll go well let's try and get there they won't see this and go crumbs guys we better not do that mm. there's a huge difference and yeah everyone should watch it um find it illegally just google it last week tonight you'll, you'll find it. it's really worth watching and the, maybe the i will tomorrow, thing... maybe i will take i can probably crop some of those stories out about the what was the other story oh when the tory government came in i think it was 2010 uh there was two million people on the waiting list uh for the nhs there's mm -hmm. now 7.5 million so there you go there's a metric for you it's four times as slow to get health service, get, um, get looked after in the NHS now after 14 years or so of uh, Tory government. Sorry. Tom, and and it looks it looks like the, the Tories are going to get an absolute kicking in this election. Yeah. And, and I think what I find funny about this, considering we're talking about leaders, right? Rishi Sunak 
this terrible, terrible leader, and they've just had a line of just the worst leaders, and and Labour hasn't been able to chip away at them. But now there is so much anger that they have <laughs> they have a leader, Keir Starmer, who apparently doesn't have a personality and stands. For Nobody nothing. knows who he is, and he's going to romp in. But but people are at this point happy to vote for someone that is an absence of personality and, and position because they hate the other guys so much. Ring it's a, bell. a vote against the court against the conservatives more yeah. than it is a vote for Labour. Yeah. Like it's mental.